This week we're at my parents' house in Florida and I'm gonna be taking the grandkids' bedroom from a bunch of mattresses on the ground and turning it into a new and improved bunk room. Let's get started. When my parents bought this house, we actually put in a full-size bed in this room. However, knowing the grandkids were gonna be coming a lot and needing a place to stay, we opted to buy three more twin-size mattresses. Now, whenever the kids would show up, we would pull the mattresses out and set them on the ground, and they worked just fine because they were kids. But I knew that I ultimately wanted something better. So I opted to go with two built-in bunk beds. One was twin over twin, and the other is a twin over full-size mattress. The first step of this process was going to be cutting all the wood down to size. Now, I made sure that when I was cutting the wood that I selected the best looking boards for the outer parts of the frame. To minimize the amount of sanding that took place in the room, we actually pre-sanded all of the wood before we took it into the room to assemble. I also drilled all the pocket holes in the garage as well as pre-assembled what I could. I then took the legs and some of the other boards upstairs and started assembling the bed. Now, in order to minimize the amount of pocket holes that would be visible, I tried to assemble as much of the frame in the back that I could before I installed it to the wall. I then began assembling the entire bed frame in place up in the room, and it actually went together a lot faster than I thought. The other thing that I wanted to do was switch out the ceiling fan. Now we just had a traditional older ceiling fan and I knew with the kids and bunk beds and whatnot I didn't want any spinning blades too close to them. So we decided to swap it out with an enclosed ceiling fan that looks much nicer and is safer. While I was assembling the bed I wanted to go ahead and get ahead of the painting process so we painted the plywood a blue color for the ceiling above both beds. It was three quarter inch plywood that we opted instead of slats on the lower um, ceiling and the upper ceiling was just simply quarter inch plywood. To finish off the walls on the inside of the bunk bed, we went with a faux shiplap paneling, which we cut to size, nailed in place, and then caulked it in. With the frame built, finish sanded, all the nail holes filled, and everything caulked in, we could then begin to prime and paint the actual bunk beds. Now for the color scheme of this project, we ended up going with a white paint on the overall frame of the bunk beds. Now, the ladder itself and the rail just have a natural wood finish, and I think that the contrast between the two turned out really good. I actually got a lot of inspiration for the design and color scheme from my buddy Alex over at Mr. Build It. If you want to check out his video, I've got a link in the description and you can see exactly how his project turned out. After two coats of paint, we installed slats for the lower beds. Like I said before, we used three quarter inch plywood for the upper beds to finish it off nicely. And then we put the mattresses on and started making up the beds for the kids. So 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We absolutely love how it turned out. My kids love how it turned out and my niece and nephew are gonna get to experience it here in a few days. If you guys wanna take on a project just like this, make sure you hit that button right there which will take you to the website and get free plans for these two bunks. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, make sure you hit that one right there and that will make sure that you don't miss out on any future project videos. Until next time, be safe and happy building.